In this video, I'm going to show you a very simple concept that I think is one of the more effective concepts in Madden 22 for beating any coverage, and particularly the Mabel concept or the Mabel coverage that you're going to get a lot of if you're playing online. This is also a very good play against the Blitz. Really can beat any defense. We're going to show it to you out of the trips formation. And basically what it is, it's a three by one version of stick, but we're going to kind of add a little piece to it that is really going to put the opponent in a bind. So if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. I upload new videos every single day here on YouTube. Today we're talking about the trips tied in formation. You can actually do this out of any play in this formation. If you don't have uh, a tight end apprentice, I would recommend doing this out of Pat's Y in, and I'll show you how to do that here in a minute. But the play that we're going to be utilizing in the actual breakdown is the PA counter go because the blocking is really, really good uh, from the PA counter go. Now, if you want to learn my entire trips tied in offensive ebook, join my Patreon. There's a link in the description below to join the Patreon. By joining the Patreon, you're not only going to get access to the Trips Tight End ebook, but you're actually going to get access to all of my Madden 22 ebooks. I have 13 offensive and defensive ebooks in the uh, in there for you, and I'm going to be adding more this week. Literally, our brand new, uh, I think, Nickel 245 uh, is coming out this week. Uh, so we have a ton of stuff over there for you. If you want to get access to it again, it's just for one price, too. You get all 13 ebooks for just 10 bucks a month. There's a link in the description below if you want to sign up. So head on down in the description and check that out after the video. All right, guys, PA counter go is the uh, the play. And what we're going to do with this, uh, it's actually really simple, okay? Uh, we're just going to go ahead and put triangle on a flat. We're going to put the circle receiver on a hitch, and we're going to put the tight end on a tight end apprentice post. This route combination, I'm telling you right now, is so, so good against a lot of what people are doing to slow down this formation. Very, very effective route combination for this formation. So let me just show you this against cover four. What you're gonna see here is the hitch is almost always going to be available. There is a very specific adjustment that they're going to have to make to be able to stop that. So really what we're doing is we're looking at that linebacker. If the linebacker shoots out, we're gonna throw right there and then just take our yards really, really easily. Now, like I said, one of the more popular coverages that you're gonna get if you play Madden 22 um, is you are going to get a Mabel concept, so a double flat. So if they're double flatting on this side, what you're going to notice here is that this little flat route will pull every flat zone outside, so then I can just simply check it down right to my little stick route and just simply take that and continue to move up and down the field. However, what a lot of people will do out of the Mike Blitz 3, if they know what they're doing in particularly, uh, they're going to go ahead and double hard flat. Um, you're going to see, and then and then if they're smart, they'll drop this defensive end into a uh, bluff blitz assignment, and then they're going to use over this uh, middle linebacker. Well, what you're going to notice is this bluff blitz assignment is going to get sucked to the middle of the field, and then you can still throw your hitch if you want to. So the only adjustment they really can do uh, to stop this from zone um, is to go to the Tampa 2 and to double flat out of a Tampa 2. So it looks kind of like this. And as you notice there, I've now got an additional underneath hook defender that is going to be helpful in shutting this down. However, this formation, and, and particularly this specific fade out of PA counter go, is really, really successful. If you just pass me this up, it will beat that cover two defense over the top pretty much every time. Now, I would really recommend if you've never thrown that route, you want to get into practice mode and kind of test it out a little bit. It's the, the hardest uh, coverage to throw it against is just a standard Tampa 2 uh, in terms of like a cover 2 shell. The standard cloud flat without zone drops is a very good at, at carrying the route. However, let's say, for example, that they have a soft squat. Well, the another great reason why we have this flat route right here, what you're going to notice with this flat is that soft squad is going to suck down and then we could just outside pass lead that and as you can see it's a one play score against the cover two now you could actually run this on either hash mark or basically the same but i would really encourage you this is really a much better concept to the right hash than to the left hash just because you have more space to be able to have that vertical threat of the fade so and then of course if they go hard flats out of their cover two look you're going to see here that this fade, um, and I will tell you, you'll be surprised how much hard flats you'll get uh, out of trips. This is a great little play that keeps them honest because they're so used to that receiver going on a post or going on an in route, but now we send him on this little fade, and it's just a very effective route. Okay, so that's kind of the cover two coverages and some of the things that you're going to see. So now what we're going to get into 
is a situation where they're going to have to make a decision really with their user, okay? So let's say, for example, they go with this kind of a cover three. So they're going to use those vert hooks there, and we're just going to show you kind of how this looks. So this is two yellow zones on the field and then two cloud flats. Again, this is why this concept is so good because we're really attacking this left side of the field pretty heavily with these routes. What you're going to notice is that cloud flat's going to go back, and I can throw the flat if they're not going to play hard flat. So, again, we're forcing them into a very specific uh, dynamic of how they have to play uh, to be able to be successful. Now, in my personal opinion, a standard cover three is one of the better defenses that you're going to be able to have against this. But if you look here, that's going to then open up this tight end post. That flat is going to suck or hold down some of those underneath routes, curl flats, zone drop uh, flat zones that are only five yards or whatever in depth those are going to be very successful at stopping that. So now what we're going to do is basically they're in a predicament. They can either user the hitch or they can user the tight end post. And that to me is what makes this play so good. The user has to choose. So here they choose the hitch. And as you can see, we just throw the post. And as you can see, it gets wide open. Now, I want to show you another situation. This is something I really like to do against double Mabel or double flat. So if they're double flatting, and let's say they use the tight end post, what we can do is we can actually playmaker, because when they double flat, the whole middle of the field is open. So we can sit like this, and then we just playmaker that circle receiver to the right, and as you can see, he kind of just nice little check down. And again, when they're dropping nine or 10 people into coverage, it's a great way to kind of get around that. Now, another little trick that you can do, um, and let me just show it to you real quick against Tampa 2, is if you want to, you can actually take this uh, triangle receiver here and put him on a zig. The only reason you might want to be interested in doing that is it's going to still suck down soft squats just like that against cover two, but it's also going to do a really, really good job at beating man-to-man -man coverage. So if you're getting man-to-man -man coverage, what I would recommend with this play is, again, use reading the play. You Obviously, if they're in cover zero, you can try to hit them over the top. But the other thing that you can do is you can just say, oh, I've got my whip route there or I've got my tight end post. That is going to be very difficult. Most of the time, the tight end posting and man coverage is very difficult to use her. And then, like I said, if you get in trouble, let's say that you get yourself in a situation where, you know, they're going with that tight end post and they've got man coverage on your hitch um, and it just doesn't look like a good open throw. Remember, just simply flick that right joystick to the right, playmaker that, and you can just kind of check that down. This is not a great play, in my opinion, against man. It's much better against zone, okay? And then lastly, I want to show this against match. So if you're going match coverage, um, this is still going to be a very good concept for you. You're going to see here against match, this hitch is going to be wide open. Just check the check down. It's so, so simple and so effective at the same time. So we force them into certain, um, really into certain types of ways of how they have to play this coverage for this to even have a chance. Now, if you don't have a tight end apprentice, what you can do is use this pass Y in play, and it's basically going to serve the same purpose. So you could, if you wanted to, simply hitch circle and then just run the play. You could actually still use the wheel, you could use the post, or we could just put that fade out there as a hot route and then put the flat out there as well. If you want to leave the running back on the route, you could. If you want to put him on a block, you could. Or if you want to put him on another route that I really like is a ghost route. So something like this, or you know, just a simple out route if you wanted to check down against man to man. But as you'll see here, now the concept will basically work exactly the same. You basically have a high low between the hitch and the tight end in route. And as you can see, it's basically exactly the same concept. So Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to learn more about my trips tied in offense, head on down to the description and sign up for my Patreon. Remember, by joining the Patreon, you're going to get access to every Madden 22 ebook that I've released so far and every ebook that I'm going to release in the future. Those ebooks also have several updates, exclusive tips, things like that. So just a lot of content. If you want to get access to all of that material and really take your game to the next level, head on down to the description, click that link to sign up for the Patreon today. Again, it's only 10 bucks a month and uh, you can cancel at any time. So thanks for watching. Head on down in the description and check out that link that I put down there for you.